Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and this week, we are heading to Modern to check out a deck that is not only super spicy, but also pretty budget friendly. We're talking Induced Amnesia comes to us from Pineapple, so big thanks to Pineapple for submitting a super spicy deck. If you'd like your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave a link in the comments, or you can email me, saffronolive at mtdgoldfish. Dot com. Anyway, before we get to the deck, just wanted to reiterate one more time, only 119 bucks in paper, 13 ticks on Magic Online, so a pretty good price for just a super spicy brew. Anyway, let's talk Induced Amnesia, starting with the namesake enchantment, Induced Amnesia, our former spoiler card actually. So Induced Amnesia, 3 mana, enters the battlefield, choose a player, and that player has to exile their hand and draw that many cards. So you can do it to yourself, that's our main plan to target ourselves with an Induced Amnesia keep filtering through our deck. However, then there's a second ability on Induced Amnesia. When it goes to the graveyard from the battlefield, so basically dies, then you get to return the exile cards to your hand. So on level one, we cast this on turn three. Let's say we have six cards in hand. We exile those six, get six new cards. So we're, we're trading in, hopefully, our bad cards for good cards. But then our deck is built around actually killing the Induced Amnesia. So then we're getting those six exile cards back, which turns Induced Amnesia in that scenario to like a draw six for three mana with a little extra work thrown in. But that's the end result is we draw a ton of cards. And that's our primary plan. Play Induced Amnesia, cycle through our deck, kill Induced Amnesia, draw a bunch of cards, we want to do this so badly, we actually have hatching plans as like a backup induced amnesia. Two mana, enchantment, when it goes to the graveyard from play, you get to draw three cards. So if you can kill the hatching plans, that's a lot of card draw for two mana. Drawing three for two is a pretty good deal. Of course, it takes some work to actually make it go to the graveyard, but we have a lot of ways of making it happen. And then copy enchantment, just a backup, but can copy our induced amnesia, can copy our hatching plans to give us even more card draw power so what are we doing with all of this card draw this wheeling with induced amnesia returning cards to our hand drawing with hatching plans our primary payoff is Chasm Skulker. So Chasm Skulker is like our big finisher. It's almost like a combo piece in this deck. So three mana, one, one. However, whenever we draw a card, we get a plus one, plus one counter on it. Then when it dies, we get a one, one a squid token with Island Walk for each plus one, plus one counter on Chasm Skulker. So ideally, we play this, we kill our hatching plans. We're gonna get three counters on our Chasm Skulker, making it a four, four. Maybe we wheel ourselves with Induced Amnesia to draw six or seven new cards. Cards. That means we're getting six or seven more counters on Chasm Skulker. If our opponent ends up finding a Fatal Push or a Terminator or something to kill it, then we're just turning all those counters into one one, so we still kind of lose out. It's naturally resilient to a lot of removal. Path to Exile is rough, exile based removal, but that's our main plan. Just draw, 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 make this huge Chasm Skulker, either just kill our opponent with beating down with the world's biggest squid horror, or just making a bunch of little baby squids and going on the beatdown plan that way. We also have have Oratog. Oratog, a little bit weird, but it gives us kind of two things that we want. It gives us a backup finisher because it can grow pretty big. We sack enchantments, it gets plus two, plus two. Do that repeatedly, ends up being pretty big. It also gives us a way to sack induced amnesia, sack our hatching plans for free. Like, no additional mana, we just sack it and we get all those cards back from the exile zone. We draw with hatching plans. So it's kind of another combo piece in that sense, but we have a lot of backup ways to do that as well. Along with Oratog, we have Extractor of Sin, which is a little strange looking. A 0-3 for 3 doesn't sound exciting, but when it enters the battlefield, we get to sack another permanent, and if we do, we get a 3-2. And when we get a 3-2, along with a 0-3, that's a pretty good deal for just 3 mana, and plus, it's a way we can sack our Induced Amnesia, sack our hatching plans. Perilous Research gives us even more card draw. We pay 2 mana at instant speed, we sack our hatching plans, we're going to draw 5 cards, 3 from the hatching plans, 2 from Perilous research. We sack our induced amnesia. We get back all those cards from exile and draw two cards. The other sweet thing about perilous research is it's a way we can protect our chasm skulker from things like path to exile. So we were talking about getting all
all those counters on it, and the one thing that kind of makes us really sad is exile-based removal, but if our opponent goes to point a path to exile at our huge Chasm Skulker, we just perilous research it, turn the Chasm Skulker into a million little baby squid tokens, and draw some cards along the way. Collective Effort, kind of our last way of killing our enchantments, gives us some options though. We can use it to pump all of our squid tokens with Escalade ability, blow up a big creature like Death Shadow or Tarmogoyf, or just destroy an enchantment. So it's not just enchantment destruction, it has some additional upside as well. The rest of the deck, Face Reward is a sneaky way to kind of really combo off in the late game if we have a lot of mana. So we sacrifice all of our Induced Amnesia, sacrifice all of our hatching plans in one turn, make a huge Chasm Skulker, cast Face Reward, get back all of our Induced Amnesia's hatching plans. We're just going to draw through like our entire deck, make our Chasm Skulker into like a 40 power creature, attack, win the game. Visions of Beyond gives us even more card draw. A little bit strange, but gives us a way to pump our Chasm Skulker instant speed. Four removal, Path to Exile, Declaration in Stone, some negates as defense. Mana base wise, Reliquary Tower, make sure we're not discarding all those cards that we're drawing to hand size. As we're wheeling through our deck with Induced Amnesia, we find it, we play it, and then we're kind of safe. Even if we have 20 cards in hand, we're not discarding all of them at the end of our turn. Field of Ruin gives us some mana fixing and protection against decks like Tron. Mana base, pretty budget friendly. Port Town is the only dual land, islands, and planes. As far as the sideboard, Sphinx's Tutelage gives us a backup way of winning the game. If Chasm Skulker isn't going to get there, we can just play Tutelage as we're wheeling with Induced Amnesia, as we're drawing cards with Hatchling plans, we mill our opponent out. Otherwise, a bunch of stuff for specific matchups, Spreading Seas for Tron, and also Creature Lands, I guess. Core Firewalker for Burn, Celestial Purge, pretty good right now thanks to Jund being popular, kills Liliana's and Death Shadows and Dark Confidants, Relic of Progenitus for Graveyards, Wrath of God Declarations don't give us some more removal disdainful stroke and negates for counters and that is induced amnesia for modern and that's been our instant deck tech for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here